I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna be snacking on this apple while I make apple crumble. I haven't baked in quite a while. I actually don't even remember the last time that I baked, <laughs> which is very ironic because my channel used to be called Steph's Plate, my Instagram used to be Steph's Plate, and I used to share recipes and bake all the time. Last week I went apple picking and it was prime time for Honeycrisp apples and Cortland apples and those also apparently happen to be some of the best apples to use for baking so I'm very excited. I'm going to be following a recipe and I'm following Jamie Oliver's humble, humble crumble I think? Clever. Humble crumble <laughs> recipe and it's really simple. It's just like flour, sugar, apples, and butter. Um, so let me show you all the ingredients. Here's the setup. I've got my apples. We've got Cortland's here and the rest are honey crisp. Um, and I'm going to just chop these up. First peel them, then chop them. Then I'm going to um, cook them in a saucepan over there with some sugar so that they caramelize and just are really nice and gooey. And then I'm going to make the crumble with the forger butter that I have, some flour and some sugar. I am actually a little worried because I don't think I have enough butter, um, but I guess it's just going to be like a light buttery situation. So yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's chop these first. Quality is very subpar right now, but it's not about quality. Actually, it is. Whoops. But I'm filming on my phone because it's just easier when my hands are like wet and in the cooking process. Um, so we've got our apples cut, or not cut, peeled. I'm gonna chop them up. So let's do that real quick. Yay, they're all chopped. And let me show you what I did. The goal here was not to have like perfect pieces, but more so just like different textures and sizes so that I don't know. Jamie Oliver told me to do it this way, so that's what I did. Everything is in the pot, so we're just gonna add some sugar to this and then cook it away, and I'm gonna get started on the crumble too. So I've got my crumble. It actually looks pretty good. I'm really excited. Um, I did have enough butter, which is amazing, but the heat from this is like <laughs> melting the butter, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and wait for these to cook down more and then we can assemble it, I'm so excited. I'm full on sweating. I can't be wearing a sweater. It's actually like 70 degrees today. So it's definitely not the good, <laughs> definitely not an ideal fall day. Gotta, gotta open the windows, get some fresh air in here. Holy cannoli, I am sweating. All right, so I've got the circular pan. I'm going to cross my fingers that it doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. Um, but we can only try and see. Oh my gosh, they look so ooey gooey and caramelly. Yum. Okay, I'm actually quite pleased with how they are laying in the pan. Not too shabby, very exciting. Time for the crumble. Ooh, this looks so good. Wow, I'm like a little too excited about this. Honestly, why not? I just turned the oven on. I should have preheated it. This is why I don't bake. Um, so I'm gonna stick the crumble into the oven once it is heated up. And then we're gonna taste test. I'm really excited. So I changed into a tank top because that's how hot it is here right now. Um, I have really bad news. I was really hoping that this wouldn't happen because everything was going beautifully until now, but I kind of burnt it. It's not that bad, but I mean, you can decide for yourself. I put it on broil because I wanted it to get a little crispier, a little faster, and this is what happened. It's not terrible. It's just like that's not the color I was looking for, so I'm going to kind of like just scrape those bits off, and I th I'm pretty sure it'll be fine, you know? And that is kind of why I don't bake or cook because I get a little impatient and very excited. You know what it is? It's not impatience, it's excitement. 
I really am excited, so I want to speed up the process, and then things like this happen. Um, it could be worse, and I think it's still going to be delicious, but it's definitely not exactly how I thought it was going to turn out. So I'm going to wait for it to cool down because it's making like lots of noises and whistling at me, which I didn't even know an apple crumble could do, <laughs> but I'm going to let it simmer down a little bit and then I will dig in and we'll see how it is. I feel like a chicken with my head cut off right now. I've got my apple crumble. Let's taste it. Wow. Wow. I think this might be one of the best things I've ever made. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is on me. Oops, I left my fridge open. I left my fridge open. I feel like I'm so scatterbrained right now. I put my sweater back on for to take like a thumbnail picture. That was a really bad idea. I'm so hot. Anywho, I am need to change out of this sweater. It's hot out. Alexa, what's the temperature today? Right now, it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Please. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Definitely changing out of this, finishing my little apple crumble, and gonna enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Bye! Bye.